it's time, everybody, to make the ultimate collab theory. The theory that will make all theories the most impossible. I'll be drawing this picture for the thumbnail, okay, guys? And that intro is extremely cliche to the bullshit I do a lot. Totally. Okay, guys. What's up, everyone? Cool Gamer here. And today, I got a Fortnite theory for you guys. And this theory is basically going to be the big kahuna of my theories. The big theory of them all. Now, be asking me, Kevin, you talked about your last theory, but what do you mean by this? Well, guys, I got a theory for you. And it might be so crazy, so weird, so unknown, that it could be possible. I'm drawing because for some reason it doesn't want to run on my game. So we're going to be drawing this time. I'm going to draw the um, thumbnail for this one. This is a thumbnail I'm going to be drawing for this entire theory. And if I don't finish it, you'll see in the thumbnail either way. So you'll enjoy it. So my theory is what if this game, Season 9... Is the final peaking point the point in which time will fix itself now I'm asking me Kevin um, you talked about the map going back to its original look but how come the map did that if the map didn't need to well my theory is that whoever did this the visitor from outer space in season 3 did this on purpose. Now, you might ask me, well, season three was six seasons ago. How could something six seasons ago be an effect of season nine? Well, I got a theory for you guys. What if the visitor is from the future and knew the monster was going to attack? So, <clears throat> sorry guys, my throat. Do you me? Well, yeah, of course. That could make sense. But how, sorry about that, how would that make sense? I'm going to explain it the best I can for Season 9. This will be a thumbnail. So, let's get going with this. The first theory I have is, this will be the only theory, is that I'm going to explain the whole storyline and see if this makes sense. So, during Season 3, the meteor crash destroyed Dusty Dibbit. At first, it seemed... <coughs> Ah, <coughs> oh, God, it sucks. <sighs> yeah. In Season 3, the meteor crash destroying Dusty Depot, in which this would be an important factor to this video. And when it did, the visitor created his rocket. This may sound like a random thing. Yeah, we know all this. This is Season, that was season 3. <laughs> And so, it might be weird, like, why would there be that? Well, guys, my theory is that the visitor knew what he was doing because you wouldn't build a giant rocket for nothing unless you knew what was going to happen. In which, this is where the theory takes place. When the rocket lifted off, it created the rift. This rift is known to be the rift of that caused the cube. In which, I want to explain, one second everybody. I'm back. Now, let's get to season four. The rift has created a crack, and this crack has made rifts everywhere. Now, may it be Kevin, we all know this information. We live through it. How is your information going to affect the outcome of this season's theory? Well, my theory is decently that this was proposed as a prophecy. So you might be asking me, well, this prophecy sounds weird because why would someone do this? This brought the cube. And which, when you think about it, makes sense. When the cube turned around the island, it caused the floating island to exist. In which, this is this part of random shamamal, whatever it is. So we're going to skip to the end of actually season Six season five brought the cube. When the cube exploded, it caused the ground 
to be super ditch low, as low as Dusty Depot. Let me ask me, Kevin, how does the cube destroying and creating the little utopia middle island affect the point of which the vault will be found? Well, if the cube didn't make that tiny divot, we would not know the vault existed, mostly because we wouldn't have the ground space and it wouldn't even make any sense to dig there unless there's a reason to, which is why the cube shard were there. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the next part, which is now Season 7. Season 7, season seven actually brought in the ice biome, as well as it brought in the looming threat of the pre-monster. As well, so the pre-monster, if you notice in the iceberg, was rumbling, almost breathing, and nearly as much as it was alive. Now, you might be thinking, all monsters like that. What's your point? Well, this monster, the season 9 monster, wasn't, it probably was an egg that fell, and probably wasn't even born yet. Now, be asking me, well, how did this affect anything for that matter? <laughs> well, during that season, we had the fall of basically effect of nature. And nature wasn't doing so good because right when the cube exploded, you kind of noticed that <sighs> poor Wailing Woods, the poor Wailing Woods was dying. No, on the map, you can see it's brown. And so that's when season eight comes around and brings in the volcano and all of this the season eight events weren't very important but this is an important event which was the nexus the nexus event was definitely something very important even to the game itself in mess me the nexus event was just a big orb in the middle if you remember the orb from that nexus event you would then realize that that orb that was this crushed and abused power by the robot in season 9 is the same orb as the nexus same as <clears throat> the mon as the orb holding all the vaulted items now be asking me well how does that help out in this theory well having an orb like that must hold a lot of energy because how do you hold that much energy unless you have a big power source the orb at first, it seemed like nothing until the iceberg struck to a polar peak. Now, you might be asking me, how does polar peak reek into this? This is when it woke up the monster, and this is when you didn't think it'd be small. In which, it probably was very small, because it's probably deep under the ice. Now, you might be asking me, well, how does monster affect any of this whatsoever. Well, the monster itself, we didn't know until the final battle, but it definitely, something definitely happened to it. In which, I can say for the least, I think the monster might have been the, might have been the mistake, and might have even been the demon that this entire predicament was going on. And you asked me, well, this theory makes no sense. Why are you telling us this? Because this is my theory on season nine season nine with the finale the final showdown between good and evil and within the end of this i must admit it was a great adventure now we're going to talk about the end of season nine in which i will explain through an explanation of its own and during the end of season nine the monster was defeated but this is weird the monster kept deploying radioactive energy, which I will explain later at the end. Soon enough, the monster breaks out and causes havoc on the island. This is my part in the theory where I think this all loops together. Because in the end of it all, the orb is an EMP. And if you all don't know what an EMP is, I'll explain. It is an electromagnetic pulse, meaning whatever is in it is going to explode. It's just going to explode. That's all it is. And when it does, it will, no joke, bring out the end of Fortnite's Season 9 storyline and begin a new storyline. A new Fortnite. 
Now, you probably all heard about this, and you probably are like, well, we know this, right, because we've seen the trailer, you see all of this, what, what, what's your point, what, what, what's, what's your point in all, all of this? Well, if you look at the details that were given, here's what you say about the teaser image for season 10. Or season X, as they are calling it. Remember how I said that Dusty Dibbit would be an important factor in this? Dusty Dibbit is where it all started. The Moon Man, the rocket launch, all of that was caused by the. And all these events were caused by that one event happening the landing of the meteor. So, why would this all make sense? It would only make sense if that would be the cause, or in that case, would be the cause of these all events. So during the end of this, I think that big event, the big meteor event, wasn't for no reason at all. It was actually for an event that I thought would be really, really cool, known as has the final event for season 9. This theory is kind of overcast, and yes, I know that. It's a bit of an overcast theory, but I really want to try this theory out and see how the community thinks. And I really want to tell you guys that this theory took me a very long time. I had to look up a ton of information to make this theory even possible, because I didn't want to go off a blank slate, and um, I didn't want to go off this massive tangency for season nine's ending and so this is my theory for season nine end as well as my theory for the reason why this has all happened yada 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 now that to me well this theory is great and all but why are you telling us this we already kind of know this well my theory on this is that it's gonna reset the island but it's gonna be a different outcome in the end so you might be asking me, different outcome in the end makes no sense, please. So a big theory I had when playing the game was actually this. That whenever an attack happened, and there was a sequence that kept happening. During season 4, when the rocket launched, it was about to hit, the rocket nearly hit Tilted Towers. But it missed. At first, yeah, it's the first time we've seen it happen. Big deal. Then we saw the event of, well, then we saw the second event happen, also known after the rocket launch, which was the cube. Yes, it entered tilted, but it didn't do anything to it. Just destroyed one insignificant building. <laughs> yeah, yeah, destroyed a building. Yeah, big deal. Season. Then we had season 7, and every season this happened, Tilted was still in one piece. Something was wrong. Very, very wrong. At first it seems weird that I'm kind of tangenting on the survival of Tilted Towers, but this is what I'm going to say for this. My theory is that Tilted Towers was not destroyed because this was in a universe it would get destroyed. So you might be asking me, well, Tilted Towers, it's a popular location. Of course, it didn't get destroyed. Do I want to tell you guys that I had a theory that Tilted Towers might be the next destroyable location during Season 10 or more? And you might be asking me, well, that's kind of crazy because for Tilted Towers is loved by everybody. Well, maybe because Epic Games want to protrude something. Say something that we didn't notice. Something I noticed along the way of playing the game was that Tilted Towers was never harmed. Never was. Because, oddly enough, there was enough damage to it. Every time it tried Yen Destroyed, it would have failed. So what is this? My theory is, is that this is, in, is part of the next season. That something will happen to Tilted. That is my theory because it's just a theory. It's not really much of a theory because I didn't really think it through. 
but my theory was this because I looked at all the information and it was pointing out that something was very wrong. So that was my theory guys on season 9 and how season 10 slash season X will go down. I hope you all enjoyed this little theory and if you guys like this little theory idea that I'm kind of drawing up on, please write like give a comment, like subscribe, and even comment down below if you think my theory is good or not. Because this theory I kind of put a lot of time in thinking about it. And this picture took me a long time to draw too. Because this picture might not be done. And I will be adding a lot more detail to it when it's done. <laughs> anyway guys, that'll be it for this exact theory. And if you guys want to um, like, comment, and subscribe, please do. It'll be a great help to the channel. And it'll really help that sweet, sweet revenue into my channel. I am no enough I don't have enough to get subs, but I hope you guys share this video with people. See what people think and I wanna chat in the comments. Is my theory right or is it wrong or is it somewhere in the middle where it is right but it could be wrong. I don't know. I hope you all enjoyed and furthermore I will be doing <sighs> It's almost April, guys, and I will be doing that item shop giveaway very soon. As well as this, this is the end of the video in which I will talk about the V-Bucks giveaway. And for the V-Bucks giveaway, for anyone who does not know what that is, is that this is a big thing I'm going to be doing with um, with a big V-Bucks giveaway. So you might be asking me, well, V-Bucks giveaways usually, but today we'll be talking about the item shop giveaways. Meaning, if you guys don't know what I do, is I consistently am going to be starting these things with the item shop giveaways in which it's going to work like so. I'm going to go and pick a random commenter in which I want to hear your guys' comments. The best comment, um, and I'm going to be doing this as well for some smaller items. I'll be giving out some pickaxes, some items, and lots more. As well as all this, I will also be doing the V Bucks giveaway, and other uh, guys, I want you guys to comment down how many V Bucks you have because that will help me learn how much I should give. Because maybe someone wants, oh yeah, the battle pass. I also will be also doing not a battle pass giveaway, but a um, battle pass help giveaway, meaning I will be giving V Bucks. And you can use them to get your battle pass up. Yay! So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is my little cool custom thing I've been doing. And I hope you all enjoyed. And if you guys want some more of this kind of content based on Fortnite theories or kind of theories in general, please tell me down in the comments. If you guys want some more, I will definitely use some more because I love making theories on this game. This storyline of this game is completely whack and I love it. So guys, thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed, why not do me a help and comment down, like, subscribe, and even tell me in comments. This entire video has two that twice in a row, and I am making this in the middle as well. As well as all this, this is going to be the end of this video, and it's going to be showing you guys this really neat picture, which I'm going to be altering in the meanwhile while I'm talking. As well as all this, I want to talk about something small, and which is the my Instagram. If you guys don't know, I own an Instagram account. Yay! Wonderful. What is it account? It is called Life Fun For All and there are no spaces. Darn, of course. Look up Life's Fun For All and that will be me. You'll see a hand Hawaiian bread. I don't know why I made Hawaiian bread. But guys, that would be really cool if you guys give that one some love too. And you guys also don't forget, if you guys want some more um, really cool videos like this, please don't forget to leave a comment down, like, subscribe, and even tell me what you want. Because this is decently something I love doing. I love making videos for you guys, and it's part of my favorite thing to do during the day is just hop my computer, open my paint program, or Fortnite or something, and just make a video. It's There's nothing more fun than making videos for fans, because... I know there are fans out there, probably my friends on Discord, probably just please. Also, if you guys want to help this channel grow even more than it's kind of like 14 subs, but guys, if you want to make this channel grow even more, why not just, you know, share with a friend, tell them to watch a video, force it down their throat, tell them to watch my video. 
<laughs> that'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little theory I made up and kind of cooked up in a matter of, uh, why the hell is driver store here? I don't give a crap about you. I will quit. I will exit. In another 20 minutes. Yay. Hallelujah. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next video.